Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today is day 19 of 3D Primus. Now, I have to apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, I tried to hold out as long as possible to record this video to try and get over this, but uh, I was not able to do so, and the show must go on. So I am sorry about that, and I'll try not to talk as much as possible because I'm sure this looks and sounds horrible. More than usual. So for today's model, I have another entry into the 3D Block Zoo, and this time I made a crab. Now, um, I do have a previous video on the 3D Block Zoo, so check the eye up in the corner to go check that out. It was a stingray. But this was the first model that I created, and I thought this was really cool. Um, I liked the kind of cartoony design here. I just used a box for the body, like most of them are, and then I used a couple of sort of uh, pyramid-type shapes that I cut off. Um, so basically a box, but the, the edges are slightly slanted. And then I repeated those down for each of the legs. Give them kind of that sectioned look. Um, I thought that worked out pretty good. And for the claws, I just used a couple of blocks, um, a bigger block with a smaller block on top, and fillet, filleted the sides. And then, of course, we used some cylinders and some spheres for the eyes, and then I protruded some details on the eyes and the mouth. And as I stated in that Stingray 3D Block Zoo video, um, I feel like sort of the spirit of these models is to try something new. Um, and since I'm already pretty experienced with modeling, um, I painted this myself. So that's why it looks this crappy. <laughs> But as I've actually been getting in there and painting things, I, I have noticed myself improving quite a bit. Um, this is only, I think, like the third thing I've ever painted, and I'm hilariously bad with paintbrushes, but I think I'm learning. There's one more Block Zoo character um, coming up in the next few days, and I painted that one as well, and I think my skills um, got just a little bit better for that one. Definitely looks better than this thing, so I think that's kind of the point. Adventure out into something you've never done before that you kind of wanted to learn, and this was my result for this one. Okay guys, well I will stop talking so you don't have to listen to this anymore. Uh, hopefully you thought this was cool. Uh, link in the description of the files if you want to print one of these for yourself. And then also be sure to search the hashtag 3DBlockZoo on Twitter and see all of the amazing animals that people have been making over there. Alright guys, well that's it for 3D Print Miss Day 19. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully without this going on.